Well, hello there, everybody. Mental Fox here. Welcome back to Fallout 76. I am surprised to see myself out here because when we ended the last episode, son of a mama. Okay, well, let's uh, let's fight this ghoul. Ouchies! Get away from me. Are you dead? Uh, yeah, at the end of the last episode, I was over there in that agricultural research station or whatever it's called, and now I'm out here. So, I've been told that uh, there are checkpoints in the game, and, uh, you know, when you exit and then reload a game, you go to a checkpoint. Like, each area has a checkpoint, and I guess this is the checkpoint for this area. Um, and it's too bad because, you know, I was already in that place doing some exploring. What was that? Ooh, we got a, I've got a quest. We picked something up off of this guy. Let's see what we picked up off of him. Uh, it's probably a note, right? Uh, no, it's not. But here's some plans that I haven't uh, looked at yet. So let's go ahead and look at these. So the notes we picked up, it was this thing here. It's a hollow. Well, let's take a look at this. Accessing emergency management broadcast system invalid terminal only official emergency broadcast system terminals are authorized to use this holotape to request emergency airdrops Please proceed to your nearest emergency broadcast relay tower for assistance by your local NCRA representative Okay Well, that's kind of weird, but it looks like it gave us a quest A side quest. Request government airdrop. U.S. government supply requisition holotapes have one-use codes that allow the request of a supply drop from any operational radio relay. But I need to repair the relay tower terminal in order to do that. Well, how did I know that? How did I know that? So if I turn off this quest and I turn off my main quest, which is already off, uh, maybe I could see where this is on my map. And it's right up here. There is indeed a ter uh, terminal. A radio tower there so we could run up there and do that but I'm not done um, thinking yet I start off the game and I've got this weak feral ghoul attacking me there's another one over there pretty crappy place for a checkpoint if you ask me it's almost like spawn camping you know I spawn here and there's an enemy here but anyway like I said we were in this agricultural center last time and um, I was going to do some more exploring in it, but now that I'm not in it anymore, I don't think I want to do any more exploring in it. Now, I'm not, a, I'm not saying I'm never going to come back, uh, but if you remember, there were a couple of rather high-level enemies in there, level 9 enemies, that I wasn't really ready to fight yet. So I'm kind of okay with uh, not being in there right now. So we'll come back to that place at some other point in the game when I'm a higher level. In the meantime, let's do this airdrop thing. See what the heck is up with this. Um, we've got a dog. Well, oh, radioactive water. We've got a dog and a Mr. Farmhand over there fighting with each other, and I couldn't be happier about that. They could just go ahead and fight each other while I skirt past them here. And actually, I've got a question for you. What's that up there? Where's my camp? I guess that's it right there. Uh, you see on the bottom center of the screen. Well, yeah, it, it's an icon that looks like that. Sure enough, that's my camp. Okay, that's pretty cool. And there's something right here. I guess it's just a piece of a piece of an old vehicle. But oh man, what are you doing around my camp? Got this jerk here. What if I could sneak up on him? Okay, here's my camp. Well, he saw me. Ouch. Oh man, he's giving me a razz when he hits me. You're dead. A gold pocket watch. Thank you very much. Uh, so yeah, I, I just wanted to come back here and transfer some crap into my camp. Okay, so I just stored all junk. I fixed my key mapping so I could hit T to store all junk. wanted to do that because we did pick up a bunch of stuff uh, when we were in the research center. So, um... Yeah, I figured since I was so close to my camp, we would just kind of like pop over here real quick, drop off a bunch of stuff. Now, I got a bunch of pistols here that I don't, I probably don't need to be carrying all of these things with me. 
the rounds I am going to carry on me. Although they do have weight. Not, not a lot, but they do have some weight. Um, and these different pistols. You can see there's a condition thing right here. This one's in better shape than this one. So, um, I just moved one over here and I think I moved the wrong one. So I you know, get the hang of this eventually. You need to kind of figure out how to do this crap. Pipe bolt action pistol. So we'll put that one back. And, uh, there. We'll keep that one, I guess. I don't know. Pipe revolver. I want to hang on to these three things. Try them out, see which ones I like the best. But in the meantime, I want to go up to this tower, wherever it is. And I'm going to try to run around this agricultural station, because there's a lot of Mr. Farmhands over here that I really don't want to tussle with. If that's okay with you. Now, I like to think that my camp is safe back there. It's just sitting there. I don't know if other players can see that or not. And if they can see it, I don't know whether they could just kind of help themselves to the goodies that's inside of it. I mean, I certainly hope that they can't get to it. So I don't think we're too far away from this tower. I don't think we are. It's probably up on top of the hill. Hmm, there's something walking around over there. Oh, a level 5 Protectron. I certainly don't want to deal with that. So maybe I will kind of cut, try to cut through here. Let's see what's inside of here. Let's see if we can cut through here. Okay, something on the ground there. Oh, nice. A first aid. A large glass jar. Well, can't leave that behind. Now can we? And in here, an old possum and a carrot. I do not know why I picked up the old possum. Oh, wow. Duct tape, tongs. Right away, purified water. Nice, nice, nice. Anything else I want in here? All right. And then, look at this. There is a Mr. Farmhand lying on the ground here. Another one over here. These have already been looted. A super okay, so wow, these are left over from that event a couple episodes ago, I guess. Huh. Interesting. A ash pile search. Well, I guess there's nothing in it. Uh oh, I heard voices. I figure since we're here, we might as well go ahead and look in this place. Chessboard, in case we want to play some chess. You never know, we might run into somebody who's up for a game of chess. Of course, we don't have the game chess pieces, so. We'll have to whittle some or something. Ooh, a hatchet. Sure, I'll take the hatchet, why not? Uh, sealed mason jar. And a rad bear. <gasps> Lil Ginger Snuggles. Did you see how those bears were arranged? <laughs> Hope you saw that. Okay, somebody's got a sense of humor there. Alright, well, I guess that's all there is for us to find in this place. I found some useful stuff, I think. Okay, there's that Protectron. Oh my gosh, there's like a horde of them up there. Yeesh. This might not be as easy as I think. And you know, I'm doing this and I have no idea what level... Uh-oh, he sees me. I have no idea what level I should be in order to do this. This may be way above my station here. I don't know. But uh, it's close by. And I'm curious. And I'm always looking for an excuse to explore. So, uh... I'm going to see if I can make my way up here, and I'm starting to think that I'm not going to be able to. Nope, I'm, I'm making my way up. Uh-oh, I may have come to the end of my climbing. Let's try to go up this way. Picking up beans and stuff on our way up. I'm going to get up here, man. Looks like a late fall day. Well, I want to go in this direction. I don't know if I could get up here, though. Well, apparently I could walk up pretty steep hills, so that's kind of cool. Hmm. 
I hope this isn't a mistake. You know, you know, I might not even be able to repair this thing. I might not have the skills to do it, so... We may get up here and... Only be able to enjoy the view and do, do not much else. That's okay. Oh, where's some bean? Silt bean. Mm -hmm, delicious. Maybe dinner, Maybe tonight's dinner. Log, log. Whoa! Relay tower EMB-127. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Being shot at. Uh. Level 5 Protectron. Time to get out a weapon. Um. I guess I'll use this. What was that? Something big just blew up. Hey, quit shooting at me. Hey, I. I, I, I. Can we be friends? Probably can't hit him from here. Uh, that did nothing. What about this, um, rifle that I've got? I think I have a rifle. No, a revolver, not a rifle. This thing only does 12. This does 40. But this is that real slow loading thing. Oh, man, there's... Oh, level 8 Mr. Handy. Crap. Well, I did some damage to him, but I have a feeling he's going to be right on my case real soon. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Yes, I got him. Nice. Okay, that was good. That was good. We got him. Okay, one at a time. One at a time, boys. One at a time. And I stopped to pick up some flowers. Hey, would you... Would the, quit shooting at me. Stop it. He's shooting me right through that plant. Oh, jeez. Oh, 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 oh. What's that? Whoa, there's a turret on that building. Oh, I may have made a huge mistake. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. <laughs> this is pathetic. Quit shooting at me, that's so annoying. Boy, that thing's got some range. All right, where are you, Mr. Protectron? Holy hell, that thing's still shooting at me. Damn! I'm trying to run around, come at it from a different angle. Hmm. I don't know where that Protectron went. Well, I certainly hear him. Oh, there he is. I don't know if I have range. No, but I don't think I got him. Nope, I didn't get him again. Damn. Oh, oh, now I got another turret shooting at me. Crap, man. I could do without that. Where is this loser? Oh, I didn't get him. I'm gonna use up all my ammo. Man, I'm hardly doing any damage to him. Am I doing any damage at all? Alright, reload. Come on, take your time. Alright, I did some damage to him that time. Alright, what's... what's... I don't feel like that thing should be able to hit me behind this tree. Oh, hopefully he's gonna explode here pretty soon. Lit on fire like that. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get close enough to this tower anyway with this turret. Shooting me. Oh, he should blow up. Okay, he's dead. Run, dude, run! What's going on over here? Damn turret. Level 7 machine gun turret. Boy, it has some range. I want what's in here. I want it bad. Bobby pins, duct tape, and some more tongs. Uh, jump, dude. Jump, my man. This weapon, super slow to load, but it does some good good amount of damage. Oh, here comes a uh, iBot. I wonder if I could control the iBot with my iPhone. <laughs> okay, let's hide behind this. 
Ooh, did some damage to it. Nice. All right. Of course, this thing isn't going to stop. Okay, shut my mouth. Oh, more damage to it. We, we, we might be able to wield this thing down. The problem is, I think I've only got nine bullets left. Yeah. We'll get him. Reload. Yeah, this is cool. I'm glad that he stopped shooting at me. Yeah, let's take this bastard out, man. Stop it. Hopefully I have enough bullets to finish him off. At least finish this one off, then maybe I could come at it from the front here. One more ought to do it. And then I'm out of bullets. Well, not quite, but almost out of bullets for this gun. Alright, got that. Now, I could just make a kamikaze run into that building. Don't know what's in it other than the iBot. I'm going to switch to a uh, different weapon. Something with a better fire rate so that I could just pump something full of lead if I have to. I may have just heard another Protectron. Ooh, what's that over there? That looks interesting, doesn't it? Oh, there's a Protectron in here, alright. Hostile has escaped. Transmitting description to designated Got the iBot, but I don't think I'm going to get the Protectron with this wimpy gun. Or maybe I will. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Don't hit me. Well, I do not know why he did not laser me, but he did not, and I'm glad. I am glad. Oh, that was from the turret. Biometric scanner. Oh, fusion cell. That's the first one of those I've seen in this game. Oh, 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 oh. Where, where? Okay. Uh, that thing on the outside is trying to shoot me on the inside. Well, we made it in here. It's making all the weird noises. You hear that? I think it's this I bought here. Oh, huh, that's weird. Alright. Well, let's um, pick some stuff up. I mean, I'm not very far away from my camp. So I can uh, just pick stuff up and then put it in my camp. And I was looking online about how the camp works, and I didn't really get my question answered as to whether anybody else can help themselves to my camp, but what I did find out is that it costs me caps to move my camp. And the further you mo move it, the more caps it costs. So that's kind of cool, because in previous games I really didn't care about caps. First aid unlock requires skill zero, your skill zero. Oh. Remember this from... Previous fallout. Oh, I lost my bobby pin. I think I got one left. Oh, this is... There we go. Got it. Stim pack. Boiled water. Those are both good things to have, so it was worth the one bobby pin. I feel like, anyway. Hope you agree. Sealed headgear, such as gas masks and hazmat suits, prevent airborne disease from weather and hazards. I think that noise we hear is the turret outside. Let's keep looking around in here. Let's stand by the window so that other people could see that I'm in here. Dirty water. And speaking of other people, I haven't seen any other people yet in this world, and I'm okay with that. Whoa, what the heck was that sound? I think it was another turret there. Yeah. Look at this. Things got uh, very ooh, a fusion fusion core, very uh, agile. 
Well, I mean, if nothing else happens, I've uh, gotten a little bit of experience from blowing some stuff up. So, this again says US government supply requisition holotapes have one use codes that allow the request of a supply drop from any operational radio relay. But I need to repair the relay tower terminal in order to do that. I think that I am not alone. And I'm thinking that that turret may have just saved me from a, a dog. Shut the door. Keep the riffraff out. There is no door here, though. Alright. Let's uh, see what happens here when I use this thing. Uh, emergency management scorched detection communications. Accessing SDS network communication uplink online rover repair unit dormant. I keep hearing this word scorched mentioned. I don't know what scorched is. I mean, I'm gathering that it's an enemy, but I don't think I've seen scorched yet. Please contact your nearest National Catastrophe Relief Auxiliary Office for assistance. Note, in case of emergency, authorized users may utilize U.S. government supply requisition holotapes to connect with the automated NCRA systems. Huh. So why is this grayed out? Oh, okay. Load holotape. Let us load this. I choose you. Loading holotape. U.S. government supply requisition. This one-time code is only for use by authorized National Catastrophe Relief Auxiliary Representatives. Warning, use by any other persons may be subject to prosecution under 18 U.S.C. Section 641. I am not worried about it. Send me an airdrop. Emergency airdrop inbound. U.S. government supply requisition holotape removed. One-time code verified requesting emergency airdrop. Get the supply drop. I'm worried that somebody else is going to get to it before me. I'm thirsty here real quick. Aid. Um, what do I have? Okay. So I need to get to the airdrop, which is in this direction. Great. I need to take out this turret. <laughs> Alright, stop shooting. Stop shooting me. Oh, look, he's not dead yet. I'm almost dead, though. I should probably take some health. What do you think? Let's not get crazy here. Let's take a healing salve. Okay, that felt good. Oh, that felt real good. All right. The drop is 30 paces in this direction. Hopefully this other turret isn't going to be able to hit me, but I'm afraid it's going to. And maybe once I... Ooh, that's kind of far. I wonder if I can... I don't hurt myself if I drop down from there. Nuka cola cup and straw. I'm just a harvest and stuff, man. Okay, let's go around. I don't want to fall down and hurt myself. I might be a big wussy. I don't know. Get the supply drop. Really curious to see what kind of stuff we're going to get out of this. Hope it's good stuff. Where is it? it should be right here. Where is it? Um, look at my compass glowing. Uh, am I supposed to do something? Does that just mean it's in this general vicinity? Get the supply drop. Okay, so I guess it's just somewhere around here. I'm supposed to search for it. Hope it didn't get hung up in a tree. Um... I don't even know what I'm looking for. I don't know how big it is. Turning on my light might be a mistake. Am I still in the circle? Have you guys seen it yet? It's a building down there. Hmm. 
Okay, so there are... Crap, there's other people running around here, man. I don't want them to see me. Because I'm worried that they might be able to get the... The drop instead of me. You know? I wonder if it's on their map, too. I wonder if they know about it. Of course, I might just be thinking too much along the lines of... Battlegrounds or something. You know, a game where there's drops and... Whoever gets to it first gets it. Man, I don't even know what I'm looking for. No idea. Oh my gosh, a petrified corpse? Okay, that was weird. Okay. We'll stay away from that. Get some mute fruit here. Huh. Um, yeah, no idea what this thing is going to look like. Has it already dropped or am I still waiting for it to drop? Huh, my, um, oh crap, it's, oh, what the, it's here? Huh, okay, there's other people right on top of my supply drop, damn it. Thing's still doing that weird thing. There is quite a firefight going on down here. Do you hear all that? I am walking right towards it. Oh man. Oh! That flare is the drop. I'm gonna harvest this. Maybe it's a weird game. I don't think there's a maximum number of something I can carry. Oh, there's something in front of it. Mr. Farmhand, who do you think you are? Got him. Go away. Okay, well I got some stuff. I don't know if he can help himself to it or not, but more power to you if you could, dude. Alright, well that was interesting. Did that complete my quest? Trees Cheesy Prune sounds familiar, like if I saw him in a uh, another episode. Rad Roach. Well, it looks like the game's trying to decide whether there's anything here or not. So, did I complete that quest? I did. Okay. Well, that was kind of anticlimactic. Uh, so, let's, uh, let's see. Daily quest, no events. This other side quest, uh, where we're supposed to find the next journal in Sutton. And Sutton is over here, I guess. It's not that far away. Whereas the main quest, what I'm calling the main quest, is at Morgantown Airport. And that is, nope, that's uh, an event. Morgantown Airport, this is as far out as I could zoom. Morgantown Airport. Oh, that's a little, man, why is it such a teeny tiny? So Morgantown Airport, is over here. Well, I don't see any reason why we wouldn't run over to Sutton on our way up there. So, let's go ahead and we'll put this side quest as our main quest. And again, if we look at the map, we'll see that it's right here. So, I say we just start heading in that direction. Um, good lord. Oh my gosh. Those uh, Mr. Farmhands are fighting those ghouls, and, uh, go Mr. Farmhands. I wonder about my camp, though. I mean, I guess it's okay. Is that a Mr. Farmhand up there? Boy, they are all over the freaking place. But yeah, let me see, can I pick this up now? I can't. I wonder why I couldn't pick that other one up. I think it was a little bit of a bug. That's what I'm, that's what I'm calling it. What's this here? 
little um, structure here. Check this out. Is this somebody else's camp? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> How long have I been walking around without clothes on? <laughs> Remember a long time ago when I was moving some stuff around and I accidentally moved my uh, suit? I think I put it in the... Yeah, I think I put it in my camp and then I got it back out, but I forgot to um, put my clothes back on. <laughs> I guess what happened. So we're making more water, food, starlight berry, cobbler, and sugar. I don't know. I don't remember picking up starlight berries and then sugar? Why do I want sugar? Um, healing. Can't make any of that. Plants. Oh, meat is different than f all food. Well, I guess meat is in that. Okay, prepared and utility. All right. So that other guy that just saw me running around, he saw me running around in my skivvies. So yeah, this is a camp right here. It's Cheesy Prone's camp. Okay. Well, good. Oh, my stash box. This is my stash box? Like mine? So, when somebody else builds a camp, it puts my stash box there? What the heck? Um... Let me see. No, nope, that is what I wanted to do. Hello. Alright, well... So this is... Yeah, I guess my stash box. Whoops. Transfer. Transfer all my garbage over there. And then, uh... Whoops, I want to put on my clothes. So, apparel. Jumpsuits. Hmm. So this isn't... So, I wish I could compare the jumpsuit to the paramedic jumpsuits. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I could put both of them on. Okay. All right. I mean, it looks like I'm wearing both. I mean, it doesn't look like it, but in here, it looks like I got both of them on. But anyway, oh, wait a minute. Hmm. Doesn't seem like either one of these are helping with my um, armor. I put this on, it doesn't do anything armor-wise. See, this gives me a little bit of armor and a little bit of shock protection, I think. So, sure, I'll run around in a paramedic suit. Why not? So this is bizarre. Here's a weapons workbench. I could scrap some items. Like, wait a minute, let me grab this other pipe pistol out of here. And we'll scrap it. Man, I have just started playing the game, and it is already a lot of scrolling through here. Oh, that's a pipe bolt action pistol. Fine, whatever. So I have that. Come over here, scrap. I'm gonna scrap this. Okay, I scrapped that. Okay, so that was a challenge. I don't feel like I need two hatchets. Somebody's walking around. Is something attacking me or? No, I'm okay. So, yeah, my machete I am using. You know this stuff I guess I'll just hang on to. Man, I, I'm carrying around a lot of weight though. I'm not really sure what that weight is because I already came over here and uh, stored junk, so I'm not sure why I have... I guess when I'm carrying things like fusion cores and such, I don't feel like I need these on me right now. I'm gonna drop these. I don't even know if I ever used the hatchet. I'll hang on to it for now, though. And... yeah. Old possum. Oh, it's a drink. Okay. Just trying to free up some... some weight. Alright. Let's move on. Let's get moving. So that's interesting. So that's somebody else's camp, but it's... It's cute. He made this little... place here. Oh, that's... What's he doing? Oh, he's just kind of hanging out. 
Alright. Okay, dude, well, I kind of like him because he just leaves me alone and lets me do what I want. Cheesy prunes? Cheesy prunes, you're my kind of guy. What's this over here? This is a tent? It, this is a tent. Dirty water. Stim pack. Settler. Confessions of an addict. Well, this is it, I guess. Rock bottom, I think they call it. <laughs> I still miss him. Billy. I knew he was too young for me. But, uh, but it made me feel good. So, uh, it's the old Billy I really miss. The one who used to do nothing all day with me but listen to the radio and drink. I should have got out sooner when Billy and his buddies started torturing little cats and dogs. His friends were no good, but that didn't stop me anyway. I can't believe my wake-up call was watching people's heads get stuck on spikes. So, what is an old gal like me to do? Steal all the food, steal all the cams, and get the hell out of there. <laughs> I'd trade my last bite of food just to see the look on their faces. Oh, I know it's gonna piss off Billy's friends, but I don't give a damn. I tell myself I should feel sorry for the little town across the river. But if I'm being honest, then that's what this tape is for. But don't really care. I call myself an addict, but uh, it ain't the Kens that finally got me. It was always Billy. Another sad story in the wasteland. And try to reach out here and grab this without falling in the water. Well, let's go. Let's move on to Sutton. I would imagine we'll be back here at some point. Do some more exploring then. Another tent. Tent. I mean, this is a pretty good place underneath of here. What's this? Pillow? Up. Alright, let's just knock it over. Cutting fluid, green rag hat, crushed rusty canister, and a pillow. Tin can, some bourbon. Just a bunch of crap laying around here. Pork and beans. I mean, I don't really like pork and beans, but uh, I can see getting hungry enough to eat pork and beans. Oh my, what's going on over there? Pibble gaming. I want to see somebody else's uh, Pip-Boy light on. I want to see what it looks like. Alright, let's keep going, keep moving here. Log. Yes, I need wood scraps. Wood scraps are important because you need wood scraps in order to make a fire to boil water. And boiling water is very important. So it seems like some, some logs I can gather from and some I can't. I hear you. I'm ignoring you. Oh my. Oh, okay, fine. If you really want to be that way. Where are you? Come here. There, are you happy now? 
Oh, a baseball, baseball glove. No, come here, baseball. Okay, got it. Oh my, what happened here? Raider corpse, a couple of, f or three fragmentation grenades on this guy. Three war money on that guy. He's got a baseball bat in his hand. Can I take it? I'll take that, thank you very much. Another, uh, well, a radstag yearling over there. We'll let it be kind of drowsy over there, fighting something. Uh, a wild mongrel over there. A bunch of them, it looks like. One at a time, gentlemen, one at a time. You're not really following my rules of one at a time. One at a time now. Hit him. Mongrel meat. Well, they started it. So if we look at our map follow this road until it hits 59. But that's not really where I want to go. I want to go here. You can see there's a hill here between me and here. So I'm probably going to have to go around it. Let's head back to the overseer's camp. Fast travel. No, I don't need to fast travel. I'm going to head back to the camp and then we'll make our way over to Sutton. Look at this. A meat pile. Hmm, what's for dinner? Meat pile. Again? Oh, we already have his meat pile. What's this? Another Mr. Farmhand. And these stinking things are everywhere. Mr. Farmhand, I'm sorry to do this to you. Uh, could I do more damage to him, please? And I'm almost out of bullets for this thing. Yeah, I'm almost, I almost started thinking maybe I shouldn't have even bothered. So we've gone th from a meat pile to a metal pile. Man, I almost out of bullets. All this ammo that I'm carrying. What's it for? Uh, is there an ammo? Yeah, ammo. I need to find something that shoots 10 millimeter rounds. That's what I need to do. And maybe at the Overseer's Camp, I can craft something. Weapons workbench. Craft. I like my outfit. Pipe guns. Machined guns. Short hunting rifle. That's probably not going to use 10 millimeter. I can make it. It shoots 308, and I've only got four of those, so there's really no sense in me making that, although I do kind of want a rifle. Pipe guns. Uses 38, 308, 45, and syringes. So I do not know how to make a weapon that uses 10 millimeter ammunition. So I'm just gonna exit this. Hmm. Transfer, junk. Wow, duct tape, a plan for a metal bed. Did I get that already? Let's see, let's look at our plans. Plan for metal bed. Uh, I guess I've already learned it? Because it's not... Now what, is it just going to be stuck in my inventory forever now? I guess I could put it... Oh, darn it, I guess I could put it in here. Or maybe I could give it to somebody else, but what do I care? Well, there we go. I'm just going to store that off in there. I don't need to be carrying that around. 
armor workbench. Do I have enough materials to craft anything else? No, well, it looks like I do. I wish that I knew what I already had, you know? Because I know I've got a few things. I have a leather left arm and a leather chest piece. That's all I've got. So, I don't see it on me though. I could make a leather right arm. Might as well, right? Oh, level one or level five. Huh. Okay. Sure, level five. Bubblegum bear. Alright, I made a leather right arm. Leather left leg, level five. And leather right leg, level five. Okay. Now... Um... I have to back all the way out before I can scrap items. Because I'd like to scrap my level 1 level leather left arm and my level 1 leather chest piece. And then remake those at level 5. A little bit of a clunky interface, but kind of par for the course. Level 5. Nice. And then leather left arm level five. Oh, I've got level five complete set of armor, light armor, leather armor. And let me, boy, it's bright now. Let me put all this stuff on. Might as well put on this green rag hat too. See what we look like. Well, that hat is terrible. <laughs> and I don't know where my armor is. Unless it's underneath of my paramedic suit. And apparently it is. Okay, that's kind of neat. I kind of like that, because that, that armor is ugly. There. I don't like the hat, but I'm going to leave it on. Alright, why do I have... Oh, another supply drop? Why is there another supply drop? How far away is it? Huh. So did somebody else get a supply drop? how far away it is. Let's look at our map. I keep pressing escape to ring up my map. Ah oh man, the supply drop is way back where I was. But I mean, it's free stuff. So, I kind of want it. So let's run back over here and get the free stuff. So does that mean any time somebody else does that quest, there's going to be a supply drop? I don't know. Oh, I'm hungry. Better eat some delicious, delicious food. Uh, what's the best thing to eat? Something that I've cooked. Have I, have I, do I have anything cooked? Pork and beans probably isn't too bad. And, um, silt bean soup. Okay. Canned meat stew added. Where did that come from? Where did that come from? It was weird. All of a sudden there was canned meat stew in my inventory. What the hell? I looked around because I thought maybe somebody handed it to me. <laughs> weird. Kind of like, um... I mean, what game was that? I can't think of what it is, but there's a game, or maybe more than one game, but there's a game where you could sneak up behind someone and put, like, a bomb in their pocket. A grenade in their pocket. What game is that? Is it, was it Fallout 4? I don't remember. You know what I'm talking about, right? It was a game where you could, like, pickpocket people or you could put stuff in their pocket, including a bomb, a grenade, and then the grenade would go off in their pants. It's great fun. Ah, uh, holy cow, I got 10 rads. I was trying to avoid getting rads. Got 10 of them. 
So here I am running all the way back here for this. And I'm tired. My dude is so tired. I feel like we should hear the sound of me walking through um, these bushes and stuff. But I don't hear anything. It's kind of disappointing. So this drop... Looks like it's in the exact same spot as the other drop. Whoa. Cargo bot. Neat. Is he what dropped that? Cool. Okay. Whoa. Is that thing hovering in air? <laughs> I do believe it is. Well, hopefully I can reach it. Whoa. Okay. I gotta get out of here. There's a protector on here. Well, I got some goodies, including some ammo, which is good, because I was running very low on ammo. So that's cool. That's me and Cheesy Prunes out here. Just kind of hanging out. Greetings to you, sir. Cheesy Prunes is my kind of player. He just goes about his business. He's not a jerk. He's not trying to shoot me or beat on me. He didn't seem to care that I was in his camp. He's like, my camp is your camp, brother. That's my kind of cooperation. Passive cooperation. <laughs> Alright. Come on, jump out of this. There we go. Yeah. You know, look at this guy. Or this gal. Sophie Yates. Oh, goody, a survivor story. You guys ready for a survivor story? I'm gonna play her survivor story while I walk over to Sutton. Is this thing on? Great. Hello, survivors of this garbage dump. I'm Sophie, and this is my stupid survivor story. Don't shit go. Oh, yeah. Before the bombs, I was a librarian. And now I can read everything all the time. Wee! Look at me! I'm lucky. I pressed oh, the okay. button. Hush. Oh, good grief. I think it's recording now. All right. Hello? Hello Hold there? On. So, I didn't oh, think... I think that it would start playing her tape automatically like that. So we were listening to Sophie's survivor story, so let's switch back to that one. So we're going to start with Sophie again. Hello, survivors of this garbage dump. I'm Sophie, and this is my stupid survivor story. This dumb shit go. Oh, yeah. Before the bombs, I was a librarian. And now I can read everything all the time. Wee! Look at me! I'm lucky. Wait, no, no. Maybe there's one of those farmers who prepared for the end times. Some sort of religious thing. Yeah, yeah, that's right. No, no, I, I got it. I. Oh, damn it! Lived off some cat food containers in a super duper mart for months near my parents' rotting carcasses. Nobody came. I learned how to. You should too. The responders are a joke. Nobody helps anybody anymore. Get a grip. If you're not a total idiot, you get out of this dump before the responders get you killed. Leave the sick behind. We're better off. Trust me. Whiny babies can stay here and play make-believe, but anyone with half a brain will go up to the mountains and drop the dead weight. Delbert already tried to stop me. Sorry to say nobody will be around to teach you how to eat shit now, Flatwoods. Bye, suckers. Love always, Sophie. Okay. Well, I didn't really understand her story. She really didn't say a whole lot. Whoa, what's going on up there? Got 
some rain coming in. Well, I tell you what, um, to me, the sign of a good game, or at least the sign that I'm enjoying a game, is that my episode is up before I even realize it. <laughs> I've been playing for almost an hour. And a lot of times I'm playing a game and I like look over and I'm like, how long have I been playing? And it's been like 16 minutes. And I'm like, ugh. But this game, there's just something about it. I'm enjoying exploring. Um, I just, I just like exploring. It's fun. So I'm having fun with this game. That's where this episode ends. I hope you guys are having fun. If you are, why don't you let me know? Leave me a like or a comment. Thank you guys so much for joining me again on this episode. I sure do hope that you will join me again in the next episode. See you then.